Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm here to make an announcement that uh, I won't be running for mayor again this year. My family has requested my presence a little more in their lives, and uh, at my age, that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, however, Council President Leora Childress is going to run for mayor. We want to keep the core that has done so much good in this city in council. And I fully, fully endorse Council President Childress. If you liked everything about me, you get that in Council President Childress plus more. So I very much encourage you to vote for Leota Childress for mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Swigert. I appreciate the uh, trust that he has put in me to carry on the momentum that we built in the council. We have a, a wonderful group of councilors, all interested in the city, and we're just going to keep going, if you will. So, and I appreciate his support and trust, and thank you so much. As you can see, Rosie the Riveter is my mascot for my uh, campaign. And you may ask, why Rosie the Riveter? But my mother and grandmother were both Rosies during World War II. They believed in their country. They left the comfort of their homes to go uh, work in the Pollock shipyard in Stockton, California, learning welding, electrical work, and other things. My grandmother even had the privilege of uh, christening a warship. And to me, Rosie the Riveter demonstrated uh, tenacity, uh, willingness to give up something for what they believed in. And that's exactly what I believe in. They were proud to serve their country, and I will be proud to serve as your mayor here in the city of Malala. A friend of mine wrote on a Facebook post, she may be a transplant, but she has Malala in her veins. And indeed I do. The first time I drove through this city in about 2003, I absolutely fell in love. Uh, being from the country when I was very young, uh, I liked the uh, rural atmosphere. I thought the town was really cute. And within a year or less, I actually lived in Malala and still love it and still look forward to being here the rest of my life. One of the things that I've done, uh, when I first came to Malala, I did start volunteering. I've uh, been a volunteer most of my life and love working in the community. And during that volunteer work, I got involved with the Ford Family Foundation. The first thing that I did with them was attend a Ford Institute for Leadership program. Part of the uh, program was that we had to, as a group, select a project and complete it. And we had $5,000 to do that with. So our project became the pole banners that hang through downtown. We did the original pole banners, 40 of them, through donations and a small grant from the foundation. Community donations were so big for that first program that we actually got to add in the patriotic banners which are hanging now and that was a uh, it added so much to the downtown appeal we were really proud of that program shortly thereafter i attended a uh, ford institute for community building meeting and they had focused their efforts on building rural communities in about 2016 we established, as a council, we established a goal to develop a visioning plan for the city of Malala. And in 2017, I, through my relationship with people at the Ford Family Foundation, was able to bring them in and start on the visioning program. So we started meeting with the Ford Family Foundation on how to approach a visioning plan and so on. And very shortly thereafter, we were able to get a grant and we've been working on that and completed that vision and action plan early this year. 
that's all about building community. It's about bettering Malala, if you will. It's about doing what a thousand members of our community said they would like to see and do and have changed, et cetera. So that's something I'm also very proud of, the work that went into that and the work that is going to carry on. I started attending council meetings on a regular basis in about 2012, and I got involved. There were some issues that came up that I let my voice be heard because I think that we have a responsibility to let our city government know what we expect, what we don't expect, what our opinion is on issues that are facing our city. And in March of 2016, I was appointed to a position that was vacated uh, due to a council member moving out of town. Then in 2016, pardon me, in 2018, I ran for an open position and was elected. Uh, January of this year, I was uh, chosen or elected by the rest of the council to be council president. So I've kept things going uh, where we actually started in the community. We have a great council, as I said earlier. We work well together. Do we all agree on things? No, we don't. But disagreement brings about positive uh, discourse to look at all sides of an issue. And the fabulous thing about this council is that even though you may bring up something that you're passionate about and want it, if, and the council discusses it and they decide no, no one carries a grudge. And then all council members support it together because we are one voice when we vote together. We have, um, the council is professional and I really, like I said at the beginning, we, we have momentum. We want to keep that going. We want to keep positive things going. And you'll hear more from me between now and November. This is just kind of a brief introduction. But I want to tell you more things about what have been accomplished while I've been on council, give you more details maybe about some things that, that I would like to see accomplished. And I just, I encourage you, First of all, I encourage you to vote this year. If you're not in the habit of voting, make 2020 the year that you do it. We hear it every year that it's more important this year than ever, but that couldn't be more true than in 2020. So make sure you vote. Vote in the incumbent counselors who are running again. I believe that most of them will be running. And if you would please vote for me to be your mayor. As Rosie the Riveter poster said, we can do it.